sorry, I had to um, finish chewing. <clears throat> okay, let, let me drink a sip of water and then we can continue on. <laughs> I really needed that food, I'm sorry. Okay. Let me... Uh, is the music back on? It is back on. Okay. There we go. Chapter 1000, let's go. I hope you feel better soon, Panda. Sleep well. Good napping. Have a good one. Thank you for hanging. Something is very wrong. Did I doze off while reading? My daydreaming always turns into a regu regular dreaming when I do. Well, if that ain't the mood. Is that what I was reading? I've gotta get home. I'm sorry for falling asleep in your store, but I gotta get... Um... Yeah, well, is that Moo? Did Buck get to her? I feel sick. So, so sick. The floor slips under my feet and I fall back hard, loudly knocking books out to the ground. I assume they're books. I cannot see anything. Everything goes black. And you die. Uh, wrong game, sorry. What an awful dream. Sorry, Dobby. Are you... Are you an alien? Uh. <clears throat> no, I'm a mysterious, sexy librarian type. Look past my aloof and distant nature and fall in love with me ironically. An alien is playing with a corpse in front of me. An alien is playing with a corpse in front of me. This cannot be real. I must be dreaming still. It's not a dead body, promise. It's just a doll I use to interact with humans. Sorry to scare you. I was just hanging it up to dry, see? Hanging it up to dry. Also, hey, I'm not an alien. Shoggoths are from Earth too, you know. Shoggoth, huh? Plural? There's more of you just walking around on Earth? We live where all the undiscovered nightmare fuel hangs out. Bottom of the Pacific Ocean. Classic. Not my fault you guys went to space before 100 percenting your own planet. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're like a hundred miles from the ocean. What are you even doing all the way in the countryside? Well, one day, I grew tired of the darkness beneath the waves. And upon tentacle and maw, I skulked upon your shores for one reason. I like how the little tentacles do a little heart here. That's really sweet. I like that. You can't write smut underwater. <laughs> okay! That is a reason to not be underwater. I can see that. Okay, sure. What a trivial, pr trivial reason. You know, I think that I would have heard on the news about giant tentacle monsters roaming through the country. Wonderful job. Whoa! It's like you're a real cowboy! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Though, to be honest, I only learned to read, speak, and write your languages so I could read your human books. They're far superior to cosmic scriptures. Don't get me started on the level of patience. This is so... What? Okay. But the, that seems like a lot of effort. My complex motives are far beyond mortal comprehension. Smut? You mean? I thumb idly along the spines of books written in English. They have suggestive titles. You learned every human language so you could consume all of our smut? 
<laughs> oh, even the eye has a little heart in it. That's so sweet. Oh my god. Maybe they weren't as complex as I thought. <laughs> oh, I love this. You also make life like human models and learned every language that humans speak. I, I, I have a thing for humans, okay? I'm not, I'm not judging. I'm the last person to judge. Looking around the store, a lot of these books are eldritch, curious, and lore. But some of these books... Uh. Big Slippery Shoggoth Girlfriends, Volume 2. My little night gaunt can't be this fathraliagant. I have no idea how to pronounce that, but that's fine. <laughs> Deep ones, let's go. Rated 18 adult only. <laughs> they are explicit stories about love between humans and eldritch entities. I didn't know these kinds of books even existed. Did she make all of these? And aren't you the one who's been writing my ultra dangerous reality bending ritual books? Kishan got home and I missed so much, man. Aw, I'm, I'm sorry, Jules. I'm sorry. Smutty and such. Yeah. <laughs> I am I'm totally flabbergasted by this one. Sorry, I'm just having trouble wrapping my mind around that. They seem like two completely dissonant dissonant skills. <laughs> yeah, those two hobbies are completely unrelated. Yeah. I raise an inquisitive eyebrow. Wait a minute. So he makes smart books fantasizing about humans and eldritch gods meeting. And then also makes spell books that would allow humans and eldritch gods to meet in real life? Wait, I know what it sounds like, but I can explain. Uh-huh. Go ahead. <laughs> I've got nothing. I'm a disaster for human eldritch love. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh my god, this is so silly. Oh, I love it. <laughs> you indirectly summoned reality-ending gods to our realm just so you could watch them date humans? This person is me, what the fuck? <laughs> I'd say I pretty directly summoned them, actually. Also, why the heck did you make the rituals so freaking scary? for an outer god. They're all scary. All the time. Well, if you're supposed to be helping me, why'd you put the most important ritual at the very end? What? The uprooting ritual? Eldritch rituals are serious business. Doing them out of order could cause who knows what. And it's not like I've been asleep at the wheel here. I've been changing the books each time I find a potentially quicker, safer path to uprooting. That's, that is in fact true. for many incantations. Listen, I'm trying here, okay? I haven't had a problem so far. Say, Worcestershire sauce. No. Watching workers where... Okay, you made your point. All I was trying to say is that it's a cryptographic marvel that you can consistently perform these rituals and that I'm a genius. That's all I'm really trying to say. <clears throat> Oh, is that all? Besides, Roxy loves the rituals. She's a god, she likes rituals. And the scarier they are, the faster you fall in love. <laughs> uh, remember when I said this game was more scary and stuff, and less silly? I think they backloaded all of the silliness in the last chapter. <laughs> That's not how that works at all. <laughs> really? Oh yeah. I'm writing fanfics of the two of you right now. This stuff is hot. Let's see. Packs. Pining. Slow burn. One-sided. It's not one-sided. It's not? <laughs> Wait, I mean... 
Well, she's really jo gorgeous and... I ship it. <laughs> this is such a fucking fan service. It's... What? Oh my god. I can't. I can't even. Wait, no. Size difference, age difference, mommy, monster girl. Wait, is Roxy a monster girl or a furry? Well, I'll add them both and let the algorithm work its magic. Roxanne Stardust. No, oh my god! Your ship name is Rockstar! <laughs> or Starzan? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I doing this to myself? Uh. Hey, I hate to kill the fun, but... A lot of people have gotten really hurt because you made this book. Including me. It was never supposed to be like this. I thought only good things could come from summoning Roxy to your world. She just wants Earth to be one big happy family. And she's a wonderful mother. And she's kind. She's the only one who didn't laugh me out of Astrid's court when I suggested that humans and Eldritch entities belong together. In fact, she agreed with me. We made the book together. An all-in-one ritual book full of spells that would make the perfect date. Plus an abort button. The uprooting ritual. In case the human needed to be rescued from Roxy. Hmm. We picked the perfect human together, too. A young handsome human man who had already spent so much time and money fruitlessly trying to contact Roxanne on his own. Wait, this is a jab on the first, on the, on the person in the first one, no? He flew through the rituals, started a huge family in her worship, Probably not. and grew the never thousand mind. to such a size, so it's bug. the okay. whole world was under Roxanne's influence. They never really clicked like I had hoped, but he had his god. And Roxanne had her family. They were so, so happy and carefree. But you should never be carefree when dealing with cosmic forces beyond reckoning. At some point, Buck decided to steal a smooch outside of Black Ceremony, completely out of order and without consulting the ritual book first. Instead of causing some obscure ritual to fail disastrously, something far worse happened. He accidentally performed a certain ritual perfectly, by pure bad luck. The Kiss of Immortality mm. ritual. It was sealed with the smooch he stole. He tried everything to reverse his immortality. When nothing worked, he changed. So many people, so many humans that Roxanne considered her children. All these realities later, he's still tormenting her. I don't know if it's revenge or if he's got some other plan in mind, but he's never going away. What a big fat screw up this was. If Roxy of all the gods can't find happiness with a human, there's no hope for any of us cosmic entities. Between you and me, Roxy is the hottest one in the family by far. So mm. that's why I'm trusting you with my books. I hope it's not too weird to say, but... I think after seeing you time and time again, that I should have given you the book to begin with. Well, I'm glad the book eventually found its way to me, but it's like a passed baton. Every leg of the sprint leading up to me was significant and worthwhile. And if I've got to pass it on again, I think I'm okay with that. But I also think I would really like to be the one that gets to cross the finish line. The one who gets to show Roxy how far we ran together. Ritual. Do us all a favor and end up together already. <laughs> Every fandom ever. Wait, that's the same ritual that Buck did. Becoming permanent, this means I'll never die, no matter what. Even when reality ends again. Will I end up like Buck? Holding this sinister page fills me with a palpable dread. This ritual is what started all of this. It's what caused Buck to go mad. It's what turned the thousand against Roxanne. It's what made every reality a nightmare. It is what caused me to suffer and perish countless times. But it's also what brought me to Roxanne. I think this is it. 
I think it's the key to ending all of this for good. It's how I can stop Bark and the nightmares. Oh? Fighting fire with fire? Not exactly. Once I cast this, my fate will be the same as Bucks. There is no take backs. But I have the heart to live with that, with what I'm given. No take backs needed. I'm ready to accept what great heights and lows eternity has in store for me. If you give love, it comes back. If I embrace eternity, eternity will embrace me. Alright now. Now I'm really pumped. No more baton passing. I'm going. Are you coming too? No way, Jose! Buck's scary looking! <laughs> um... Yeah, yeah, I know that I'm scary too. But I can't just run into the unknown like humans can. Shagoths aren't brave like you are. I'm the only one that even left the sea for crying out loud. Don't worry, you don't have to come. I have your book. That's all I've needed so far. That's all I need now. Go get him, Stardust! This is so wild. Okay. No sign of anybody. This could be the end of my life as a mortal, couldn't it? All in all, I have to say it's been a blast. And whatever's ahead, I know there'll be something to love. Okay, hold on. I wanna see what else. Summon the Elder Mother, that's fine. Kiss of Immortality. I wanna read it before anything else. To perform a kiss of immortality, simply kiss Roxanne Salva Oscura in the presence of a greater rot bloom. If there is no greater rot bloom present, stand in a room with Roxanne and at least 1000 rot bloom flowers. Draw the symbol and chant. Okay. okay, we don't have the chant though. Okay. The flower will bloom within 7 minutes. Eternal life awaits so you make the most of it. 7 minutes? The section of the book has been compiled from the deaths of your past lives in order to ensure your current incarnation survives as long as possible. Your suffering in this place has earned you this advantage, so adhere to the instructions precisely. Oh no, it's one of those. Oh my god, okay. If you hear a loud buzzing or a sudden swarm of flying insects, flee now. Move quickly and deliberately away from the room you spotted the box until you can no longer see a single fly. The flies will not follow far, but be wary. Once they've caught your scent, there will likely be another feeding frenzy within minutes. You aren't fleeing the flies. You're fleeing from what they're coming from. Check windows frequently. In the event of seeing the flock of crow-like creatures outside, immediately flee to an interior room without windows, open or closed. There are no crows. Their arrival will be silent, but their numbers great. Once they hear loud flapping of wings, they have stopped, stopped circling. It is safe to come out. If all sound has been stolen, panic. Great. Loudly. Loud noises are your only salvation. Keep a running clock in your head. At least once every 15 seconds create a loud noise. It does not matter what it is, only that it is loud. Do this for a full minute. The hush hungers for your silence. Starve it. Oh my god, there's a lot of shit. If you feel a sudden sense of dread and your heart begins to race, it is your natural prey instinct. Hide in a room with only one entrance and no open windows. Once inside, face the only way in. Do not look away. Waiting is the worst part, but stay strong will never attack you from the front. Once the dread subsides, it has likely sought prey elsewhere, or it found a better hiding spot. Okay, we need a room without, with only one um, entrance. Like the bathroom has two entrances because it leads to the balcony, so that's not it then. Oh, that's gonna be a pain in the arse. If your vision is darkening or you, cat or you catch glimpses of trees where they shouldn't be, the Blackwoods are forcing night upon all living things within it. This includes nocturnal predators. Find any lit cans and stare directly at them. The trees will retreat from its glow. Do not look away. The song of morning birds chirping means you survived the artificial night. There's so much shit, dude. Okay, so flies flee. Until there are no more flies, then you can go back. The crows, we have to leave. Uh, into a room without windows, right? Ok, 
Okay, we need to make a loud sound if we don't hear anything. Okay. One, uh, genau. Oh, I'm, go I'm going to die so often. I'm gonna die so often. Listen carefully for the direction of the knocking. Move slowly toward the sound. If another sound distracts you, do not follow it. The knocking is your only guide. Pull the door open in one swift motion once the seventh knock begins. Do not hesitate, your timing must be perfect. If the sixth knock comes before you find the source, stay perfectly still. Do not even breathe. It may pass you by. If you notice corpses rising from fields of rot bloom flowers, the second floor balcony is your only sanctuary. It is the only room you've never died in. Your deaths have given you life. They are hungry to trade their fate for yours. They will not last long in this world and will starve quickly. Wait it out. Be warned, there may be stragglers. Oh my god. How many are left? Oh my god, so many. Oh my god. If the walls and floors begin creaking loudly, the house itself has given life by the vol volumes of immortal blood spilled within and soaked into the foundation. Exit before you are crushed. The staircases are not safe, do not use them. If you are upstairs, you must leave through a window. Do not use doors that move on their own, they are mouths. The thick mist will fill the lower levels of the house. Seek higher ground immediately. Stand near any open window on the top floor. The spores work fast, dizziness and nausea will overtake you within seconds of exposure. Oh my god. Mega Fauna Hominid stalls silently, seemingly at random on possibly elongated limbs. Avoid being in a room with it for too long. Upon seeing it, you will be compelled to scream yourself to death. Note, it does not appear to be hostile, but you have died many times because of it all the same. If you hear the loud cry of a baby, flee to the heart of the woods. Do not emerge until the cans blow out on their own. Okay, there's no way I'm gonna recall any of those. Just so you're aware. Oh my god. Oh boy. Also, there's even more flowers now. Oh, this looks different. Oh boy. Oh boy. We do have a door, so that's good. Oh shit, we're gonna die. We're gonna die in the corner. Okay, let's grab her. Sorry, it took me a while to start dreaming this time. I was too anxious to fall asleep. So, this is it. Buck is the only remaining member of the Thousand. Are you ready for what's to come? No. It's only hitting me just now. What kind of kiss... Uh, now that this kind of... Uh, it's only hitting me just now that this kiss of immort immortality thing... Isn't it kind of like asking to marry her? Promising to be with her forever, sealed with a kiss, no takebacks? Holding this book feels like fumbling with an engagement ring in my pocket. Stardust? Are you alright? Oh yeah, I'm fine. Um, Nervous? You don't even know. The butterflies in my stomach are building to the point of unbearability. Just as I'm about to swallow them down, a breeze blows my into my room, carrying a false stench that fills my lungs. I fall over, retching. My eyes sting and water uncontrollably, and I have to actively fight the urge to hurl. What is that smell? Did something die? No. Something didn't. He's here. I can sense him. You've got the book? Got it. Now or never. I prop myself up on one knee and open the book to the case of a mortality ritual, revealing it to her. Kneeling? <laughs> you don't have to kneel to me for my rich. Where did you get that? No! I thought I had something to say planned, but my mind is completely blank with nerves. 
Say something. Anything. Roxy, I... I only exist because you dream about me. Without you, there would be no me. And when I look back on my life, and all the things that I got to see and do, I t it would take me forever to say thank you. So I will. <laughs> Bugs inside the house. I've got to get going. Think about it, okay? I'm going to get started on it, but I won't finish it if you don't say yes, okay? Okay. Finally, here we go. One versus one. I've got only one ritual to get through. Let's do this. Okay. It would be this one, I think. Go, Kayasi, Halv, Nav, Ngvtok. Okay, seven minutes. Oh, sorry. I don't think I hear or see anything yet. Oh, we need to leave. Okay. I need to go. Wake me up before you go, go. Are we done? Okay, the buzzing is done. Crows. What was crows? Okay, we need to leave somewhere. Hold on. Interior room without windows, open or closed. Okay. Okay, we need to go upstairs. Where's the upstairs again? I'm stuck. Oh no. Okay, the gas is gone. What a boss fight, yeah. Okay, we need to find a we need to find a thing without a window. Okay, hold on. I'm really struggling. Might be my bedroom. It has a window. Fuck. Anything else? Oh, the kitchen. It needs to be the kitchen. Heavy steps retreating. Oh shit, that's not the way to the kitchen. I would love to get not in here.
Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Well... Wait, why do I... Why am I still alive, though? Can I now get down? Okay, I cannot get to the kitchen right now, that's fine. Is there like a checkpoint at three minutes or something that happened? Dude. Can the fucking flies fuck off for a second? There we go. Really? Again? Fucking assets. Buzzing is gone. That was rather in the end. Be to the heart of the woods, okay. Uh, sorry, I keep doing that. So having the knocking on the first ones at the same time is kind of rude. Yeah, we need to wait here for the babies. That was four knocks, I think, right? Five knocks. I need to watch watch out the candles. I cannot read the book right now. I need to watch the candles go out. Okay, that's the baby stepping around, I guess. This is intense, I hate this. Oh my god. Did you stop that? I don't like any of this. Candles don't go out though. Alright, the flower should have bloomed by now. I just need to get back. Was that Roxanne's scream? I've got to get back. Okay. Well, I'm assuming Buck is up there now. Am I safe? I'm just assuming we're safe and, you know... Need to run to Roxanne. Hey, lovebird. There he is. Hey, Buck. You're not looking so fancy right now. What are you doing to her? Scaring her awake. Now that you're here. Easier. I want to be so angry, but I can't be angrier than I am, frustrated and confused. Why? Why would you do this? Tormenting us isn't going to change a thing. 
Why can't you just face the reality that you're immortal already? The reality is that I'm immortal. I couldn't care less. If the eternal sleeper wakes up, the end. Immortality or not. I vaguely remember reading something about that in Moose Library once. A god that dreams all of the other gods into existence, and by extension, all of their realities. Wait, that means... They're talking about ending everything? Everything everything? How is torturing Roxanne supposed to do that? Why are you punishing her? To make her scream loud enough that the sleeper hears it. If she doesn't, maybe another god will. Any god that learns that I exist will start having nightmares too. Once I'm in their head, it's sheet clutching nightmares forever. I'll never stop. I only need one screamer. I'll find them eventually. I'm human. The ultimate persistence predator. And you would have gotten away with it too, if it weren't for this meddling cat. <laughs> Hey, Auntie Nyan Nyan. Hey. Auntie Nyan Nyan? Threatening to terrorize my very sisters and granddaughters the way you so tortured my niece? <laughs> I respect that. My silly flock of hands could use a good browbeating. But trying to speak to the eternal sleeper? Come now, that is the duty of a god, not a human playing pretend. I will articulate to you the difference. What a lucky break. I can complete the kiss. Wait a minute. If Auntie Nyan Nyan drags Buck into her dream, she's going to start getting nightmares too. Buck's going to end up in the mind of the god who talks directly to the eternal sleeper. That's exactly what he wants. Nope. Stop it. Good, he's free. It's now or never. I've never had a bad dream in my life. But I have had dreams so wonderful that it woke me up at night at the best part. And if I become immortal, I'll survive through her waking up this time. Roxanne, I don't have the time to say it now. But will, when I have forever to say it. Aww. Look at that. Here's our payoff. We got our smooch. You've already said it. Time. I love you too. Aww. So you're you're okay with this? Mm. Was that second kiss? Was that a second kiss of immortality? <laughs> no, just a regular one. Stardust. Since I met you, I wondered how I could be so lucky. How you could have appeared so suddenly. Like a bright star in the darkest sky. I think it's because, despite everything, I never stopped believing in good. That someone like you had to exist somewhere. And you did. You are the good that I knew had to exist somewhere in this infinite cosmos. Stardust. You're the most wonderful thing I could have ever dreamed up. Wakey wakey. Thank you, my twinkling stardust. Gram Gram, you're crying. Did you have another bad dream? Lynetta. Look at them, we, we know them. No, child. Do you want to hear about it? What? But you never want to talk about your dreams. I had my reasons. I didn't want to fill your head with fear of humans. Now, I can tell you about love. Aww. Love? For humans? Aww. Oh, come on, you can't do that. Hard to believe, I know. But I believe, in time, you just might come to love them too. Ew! <laughs> Keep it down, ladies. <laughs> Sleep well? <laughs> oh, that's so sweet.
Well, shit. You know, out of every Stardust I've met, you've been the biggest pain in my ass! <laughs> Sorry. Where are we? Space between dreams. Get comfortable. Are you gonna try to kill me? You wish. We just get to sit here and stare at each other until the next dream starts. I'll get the bookmaker. Or I'll get caught by Nyanlithotep. Or I'll go back to my original plan. You cannot do any of that now. I'm here. I'm not going away ever again. Do you even know what you're in for? Infinite, cruel, eternity. I think in a truly infinite cosmos, you'll find exactly what you're looking for eventually. You looked for cruelty in a cosmos of infinite volume, and found it in no short supply. But you know what, Buck? When the dream starts again, I'm going to run barefoot through the grass. I'm gonna watch scary movies. I'm going to laugh, be joyous, move, learn, cry, and feel so much that all of the bad is worth it. That's what I did when I was mortal. That's what I will do now. That'll end. The clock is ticking on how long you'll still be able to experience any of those things. The clock was always ticking, Buck. And when it runs out, ashes to ashes, stardust to stardust. But there's things out there worth seeing before that happens. Things that make it all worthwhile, I swear it. You know what? Come on. Where are you taking me? This void is infinite, right? And I bet there's an infinite number of things that can make li life worthwhile too, even out here. Stop me when you see it. <laughs> this is so... Ah, okay. Uh, Oh, that's so sweet. Hey, we did it, guys. Extra Spicy did a wonderful job. Awesome, awesome job. Same for uh, Akabaka, obviously. Oh, man, this is so exciting. a wonderful job on all those voices. Oh yeah, right, that's published by Dread XP, I forgot about that. Dread XP, um, a brand to look out for, if you like indie horror. Very good stuff. Ryan Clark, we know that one. Ryan Clark is um. Uh, Brian Clark is the mortuary assistant death, and uh, he's I think part of the leadership of DreadXP these days. So yeah, Ryan Clark, that, that's a wonderful game death. You have to follow too, by the way. He's doing a wonderful job. When do we stop, though? We gotta stop when we see it. When do we see it, though? What is it? You know what? I, I just keep it going, I think. 
Let's see how far it goes. I'm assuming it's looping. Just the thing. Oh man. I'm really happy we played this game. Also, I'm really happy that we actually waited until um, until it came out. Like, it used to, it was supposed to come out at Valentine's Day, but yeah, it didn't, but, you know. I'd rather have them flesh it out, so it's a really big step up. They did a wonderful, wonderful job. They did a wonderful job in this game. It's a huge step up um, before the last one. And now I'm really, really happy to see when they will bring out Chromatoes. Um, that's um, another game we haven't played, um, the demo at least. And yeah, I cannot wait for that one to come out. We had some issues with the demo, but you know, it's a demo, so whatever. But yeah, they are working on Chromatoes too. And that was another game that was very exciting for me. And I cannot wait for it. I cannot wait for it. Is there something creeping out from the right right now? Am I imagining things? Probably. Like, this side is a bit... Um, Brighter than this one. Okay, you know what? I enjoy this game a much. I enjoy the music a lot, but... Stop. Stop. I'm speechless. And I'm not any closer to seeing it all. Looks like a new dream is finally starting. Ready to code you get out all again? Duke it out again? Maybe later. I think I prefer to stay out here. It's peaceful. Hey. It'll take me a while to see everything. Thank you. You're welcome, Buck. Buckzan, I cannot wait to see what you've dreamt, dreamt up now. Come outside, Stardust. Okay. This looks so. Okay. So the thing still is... Oh my god. We still cannot open this door, right? There's something purple. We still cannot open that. Okay. We actually can go through the rooms now, and it's normal. Without, you know, being scared of the jump scares. I wonder if we can get inside of um, the bedroom later. Like, the game is almost over, right? It looks so pretty now. Though. Oh, look at that. I want breakfast here for sure. Wonderful balcony. The bathtub is normal too. It's so weird seeing all of this normal. It's so weird. We're gonna take a look at the whole area. It's nice there not being blood and scorch marks and, you know, all that stuff. Cannot ex we cannot inspect anything, though. We can just take a look-see. Yeah, let's go. That was the song of the first game, by the way, if you haven't played it or heard of it. We, we played it here too, if you want to watch it, it's on the YouTubes. Just, you know, for your interest. Yeah, how, how, oh! Okay, I guess we're not allowed to get downstairs then. Fair enough. I want to see the kitchen though. Show me the kitchen. Dining room. Look how clean it is. Oh, 
There's even a little thing. We can still... The spices are still... <laughs> the spices are still there. A beautifully morbid looking flower. This must be a rock room. Did we die here once? Like, why is this here still? That's weird. Okay, let's go outside. Let's see who will kill us now. <laughs> there will be no happy ends for us. Fuck you, nanny. Ah. Oops. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Nanny, how many times have we ambushed her? Of course she'd be jumpy. Hey, all of them here. Billy, Nanny, and the other guy. <laughs> I said I was sorry. I couldn't think of anything better to shout while I jumped out. Why did you have to jump out at all? Nanny, Billy, kid, you're all here. None of them have the stare. Like, of course, silly. Where else would we be? It's not like we can just leave the woods. But now that they've pretty much covered the whole planet, we can go everywhere. I can finally go shopping in Paris. And I'll be able to go on a world tour. My fans will love it. And oh, Billy, you simply must come with me on tour. I'll need a bodyguard, and you're perfect for the role. I'd rather eat my shoe. Yeah, I figured. Billy, stop being cranky. Sorry. I didn't get enough violence out of my system before peace broke out. Ugh. Peace. Oh, yeah. You should see outside, Stardust. Everything's different. It's a whole new world waiting to be re-explored. No reason to ever come back to this old place. Ugh. Can we please get out of here already? The wallpaper's peeling, the floorboards are rotting, and I'm pretty sure I just saw a rat the size of a chihuahua run by. Had enough of this gross old house to last a lifetime. This is her childhood home. Oh, uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> it's uh, nice. Uh huh. Wait, wait, wait. You knew that she lived here? I spent forever trying to figure that out. Why didn't you help me or, or leave me a note or something? I was your boss. What's your one rep max on bench press? Guys, if it's all the same, I might take a moment to say goodbye to this place. I will be outside in a sec. <sighs> no worries. The rest of your family already got their chance to pack up and say their goodbyes. Only fair you get your turn. My family is here too. Oh yeah, they're totes outside. Your folks are like really hitting it off with Roxanne. Color me shocked. Who could have possibly expected that a goddess of fertility and a married couple with ten kids would get along. <laughs> Shocker. But, like I said, no rush. Especially if you don't want to get caught in the crossfire of their grandkids discussion. No, oh, yeah. Take all the time you need. We'll wait for you. Thanks. The trio steps out into the daylight, leaving me to what will likely be my last goodbye to this house. Wait, what? Hold on. Why is there a butterfly up there? A butterfly caught in a web. Strange. Don't see a spider around. Wonder how long the poor thing's been trapped. Okay. Jiggling gets louder. No jiggling. You are Buck's replacement. You can be replaced too. Excuse me, what? Uh. Oh my god. What is happening? I thought we were done. Okay, it's not upstairs then. Fair enough. Okay, that's the wrong way to go. Is it? Okay, hold on. It might be the... Is this the way to the thing? No, the other one. Here. I'm assuming we have to go to the crawl space. Yep. 
Oh god. No, please don't. Well now, are oh, you just full of surprises? When you first stumbled into these woods, cheeks wet with tears of rage, your only desire was to see these twisted trees burn. For a moment, I thought you'd forgotten your quest so easily, in exchange for a flutter of lashes and a flash of thigh. It seems I may have misjudged your resolve, a mistake I do not often make. Those seeking to destroy the Black Woods inevitably become compelled to worship it. That boastful promise is printed in every version of this contemptible book. Will you prove them liars and burn them down in a fit of mortal defiance? Or will you prove them right and spend your immortal days simpering at my niece's cloven hooves like a love-struck fool? In the very Eden you swore to raise to ashes. The agony of indecision suits you, little matchstick. Though I do hope you choose to burn it all down. I've never cared for happy endings. Or goodbyes, for that matter. <laughs> Ta-ta. Um, no. No. No, no. We're gonna we're gonna play family. We're gonna play family. At least now. We're not gonna burn it down. It's probably you know, but you know, this is our This is what we have been working towards all the all the time, so let's have the time of our lives, shall we? Thanks for playing. Hey, true end. That's so <laughs> oh. oh, that's so cute. Oh. That's so sweet. Yeah, the cat, yeah. I mean, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a cat, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, bless. Look at us, living hand in hand. That's so lovely. I love that. That, that was very sweet. Now to destroy everything. Okay, we're not going outside then. We're gonna go burn it down and see what happens. We we had our our wonderful moment with the fam, you know. No, we're gonna talk it through with them and then we're gonna burn it down again. And see what Auntie Nyan Nyan has to say. There we go. Let's do it. Let's burn it down. Uh, this way, right? No. This way. I keep doing that. That was really sweet, though. I almost feel bad doing this now, but, you know. Yeah. The blood of at least ten human-sized living things. The seed of rot bloom within you. Oh, do we have the seed inside of us? I mean... Do we still have to collect that then? Yeah, let's, let's just try it. Oh, hold on, I don't have... I didn't pick up the things. There we go. We got the meat. 
I'm assuming we have the seed inside us still, so let's do it. <laughs> oh no. Sometimes you need to see the world burn, I guess. Truth and... Okay. Okay, so we have... Most of the endings, I guess. So, we don't have any keepsakes here, it appears like. Okay, we can actually just do it then. Uh... Oh no, that's this. We are already down here, here. No, 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 no. Yeah, actually, this is a thing. Never mind. So, let's just do the upload thing. Let's make them all burn. And so, my black woods burn to ash. Okay, if we will meet again. We got that. Uh, we had that too. Okay. Now, do we those people? See, do we see these people burn now? Like we don't have any keepsakes here except the the map one. I don't see any humans though. Any people? Okay. I guess they did. Let's just leave them. Like here, we since we don't have any of the keepsakes, they should be dead, right? This should be a different ending. Hi. So, you decided to kill everybody, huh? Or have you come to throw yourself at my feet? Or is this the part where you try to appeal to my better nature? You deserve what comes next if it is. Did you think you'd miraculously be able to save everyone? Sorry we did. Say, Buck already has you all figured out. He doesn't. We both know that you only have one choice here. Nope. Just hand me that book and then go back inside while the house burns down. Do it, or I'll keep my fans here until they burn. He's not even armed. He's really that confident. And Sheath the Knight. The one that the girl who tagged me earlier had. <laughs> You got me. <laughs> Almost thought you were going to go full yonder A for a second there. But that's just not in your nature, is it? I wordlessly walked towards him. Uh, hey, stop messing around. You're not actually going to use that to... If I remove the object of obsession, the rest will flee. That's what Roxanne told me. All of the road rooms I saw. This is practically self-defense, right? What said you wouldn't hurt a fly? No matter what, was Buck wrong? Did he lie to me to save himself? Say something! I stepped closer. For once, I'm not playing defensively. Instead of reacting to what he, they throw at me, I'm in control. Wait! You, you can't do this to me! I'm finally in my prime! Taking it all away from me now, you can't make that choice! You're right. I cannot make that choice. The knife falls to the ground at my feet. He has the stare. Even Kid is just another victim like the rest. I will not do this. Whatever happens to your fans is not my choice. It is yours. You are the one keeping them here, not me. At the end of the day, I'm just not responsible for all the pain in the world. And you cannot force that responsibility on me. That said, I really do care what happens to your fans, and you. And I hope you do what's right. <sighs> 
I leave the house entirely unimp um, unimpeded, not even by Buck. The faint singing continues for a while, until I cannot hear any singing anymore. This time, I make it as far as the bookstore before. What's that? Okay, we're back here. Yeah, that, that's suppose. I suppose that's all the things we can do. We were able to do. I'm pretty sure we have everything that we are able to get. We got tr uh, good end, true end. We got here a good end, truth end. There seems to be another ending. But I'm not sure how that would happen. So... Maybe there's another one too? Hmm. Anyhow, I think this is gonna be the end for Sucker for Love Day to Die For. We did a lot. This was super amazing, super wonderful, good, wonderful good game, yes. If you want to say hi to the devs, this is their Twitter handle. And if you want to play the game, I'm gonna pick the game page for you real quick. This is gonna be the game page.